Okay. Hey everyone, this is Pastor Scott from Pottersville Ministries. We're just a small, new, local Christian, non-denominational Christian fellowship that meets at the Bridger Sports Dome, the basement of the Bridger Sports Dome, from 7 to 9 every Saturday night. Um, hey everyone, if you've never seen me, this is the face behind all the, the Facebook posts and, and, and um, that, all those things that I, that guy that's been writing to you with that little Jesus picture on his Facebook, that, that's me. And um, I just wanted to invite you guys to come out uh, some Saturday night, if not this Saturday night. I'm going to tell you I'm really excited about the word and the message that God's showing me and that I'm being able to freshly just share with people as soon as I get it. Um, with that said, again, we're a non-denominational Christian church. You know, I don't really care if you're, you're Baptist, Pentecostal, Catholic, Protestant, Apostolic, Evangelical. You know, all those different doctrinal differences and the, the little things that we might interpret differently, you know, in this book. Um, when it comes down to it, what I'm really looking for is people that, that know they're sinners, know that Jesus died to forgive them, that Jesus loves them, and that he wants to, he wants to uh, clean us all up make us more like himself and use us to advance his kingdom, his kingdom of love here on earth as it is in heaven. And uh, I want to tell you how the plan and, and the vision that I see and how we're going to do this. Um, you know, it doesn't matter to me what junkyard you come from. It doesn't matter to me if God's delivered you out of, out of greed and selfishness and, 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 and a hungry money-making, you know, tyrant. Or if you come out of poverty and drug addiction and uh, lived your whole life on welfare. Or if you're coming out of a, a background of uh, perversions or a background of, um, of hate, um, you know, it doesn't really matter to me what junkyard that God is drawing us off from. The point is that as we begin to we accept Jesus in the Spirit, God says He sends the Spirit of His Son, Jesus, into our lives. When we bow our hearts and we say, Father God, Father, I believe Jesus died. I believe He died, and I believe He rose. And I accept that forgiveness. I accept that, that sacrifice on the cross that entitles me to be forgiven from all that junk. And I ask you, Jesus, I ask you to come into my life and I confess you with my mouth. I believe in my heart that you died and you rose from the grave. And I confess with my mouth you as my Lord. When we do that, the Bible says that God literally sends the spirit of his son, Christ Jesus, to conceive in our lives. Okay? As we begin to read the Word and Christ begins to grow and form in us, and we begin to take on what the Bible calls fruits of the Spirit, which is really characteristic traits of Christ Himself. No matter what junkyard that God's drawn you from, the plan is to make us all more and more like Christ. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter which sins you've done, what sins you're, you're still in, you know, what the darkness or the, the things that you don't have right in your life before God are. I'm always telling people, People don't want to come and fellowship in churches and learn the things of God and sing the high praises and get in that atmosphere where we can all really learn to grow and be more Christ-like and be filled more with His love and His wisdom and His knowledge and His spirit and His truth and His power and His purpose and His missions. We don't want to, we don't want to come and get in an atmosphere like that because we always feel like, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not good enough. Well, God says, come as you are. Don't worry about where you're at. Come as you are. Let God and the Holy Spirit work on those things and getting those things that ain't right out of your life. But still, don't let those things stop you from coming and enjoying the fellowship with some people that really love you, really want to be your friend, and really with you as we, as we learn ourselves who we are and what this word says we're capable of. As we learn ourselves the instruction manual on how to be kings and rulers in this world and how to literally advance the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. Come join us. Come join us. Because I believe you have gifts, you have talents, you have things in you that God placed in you before the foundations of the world that were meant, according to this word, for us all to plug together. The Bible says take all of your gifts, no matter what they are, and plug them into each other and try to figure out a way how we could plug these gifts into one another and do something to glorify God. So come out with us. Bring your talents, bring your gifts, just bring yourself if you feel like that's all you got. And, and let's, let's figure out a way that we could bring glory to Jesus. Amen.